Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to the Ken Domic food adventure just for you. I am in the overcast, cold town of Bradford, Ontario, Canada. Live from Quahog, Rhode Island, this is Channel 5 Action News with Tom Tucker, Diane Simmons, and Black U Weather Meteorologist Ollie Williams. And now here's Ollie Williams with the Black U Weather forecast. Ollie? It's gonna rain! Thanks, Ollie. Ollie? He gonna get it! Thanks, Ollie. In local news, we have more on the approach of Hurricane RuPaul, which is working his or her way up the coast. Let's go live to Ollie Williams with the Black U Weather Report. Ollie? It's raining sideways! Sounds rough, Ollie. Do you have an umbrella? Had one! Where is it? Inside out, two miles away! Is there anything we can do for you? Bring me some soup! What kind? Chunky! All right, we'll get on that. We now go live to Ollie Williams in the Channel 5 traffic copter. What's the scene, Ollie? Everybody looks like ants! And that's it for sports. Now let's go to Ollie Williams with the adopt pet of the week. Who wants this dog? Now let's go to Ollie Williams' cooking corner. What are you making, Ollie? Eggo! Thanks, Ollie. Some new developments in the Flight 209 drama. Recently discharged pilot Captain Glenn Quagmire is apparently talking the plane down. Ollie Williams has the story. Ollie? I'm at the wrong airport! Oops, well, thanks, Ollie. And now let's go to our five-day forecast. What's the weather like, Ollie? Space weather! Thanks, Ollie. Here's, Here's Ollie, Ollie Williams, Williams with a Black U weather, weather forecast. forecast. How's the weather look, Ollie? Not too bad. Right on. Ollie Williams, why do you look so much like Will Smith? Hey, Will Smith, what was it like to punch that alien in the face? Eddie Murphy, what was that whole thing with you and that transvestite hooker? Bernie Mac, how come you died? Oprah, why are you so fat, Don Cheadle? Testify. This man wants to testify. Very well, my brother, let us lead him on the path of righteousness. This poor gentleman used to speak in long, eloquent sentences. But after years of drinking, he can only speak in short, choppy utterances. Why, at one time, if you asked him who his favorite musicians were, he'd say Leonard Bernstein, Johann Sebastian Bach, and Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. But thanks to that old devil hooch, it's all changed. Who's your favorite musician, Ollie? Sure! He doesn't even like shit. See, when Ken does his stupid weather report at the beginning of each of his food adventure videos, he basically sounds like Ollie Williams from Family Guy. Thus, the little Ollie montage. Hopefully, it wasn't too much for, for people to have to endure. But, he seems to basically act like Ken, except for the one scene where Peter was filming Ollie. Ken was like Peter there, where basically he thinks all people of a certain ethnicity look alike. He's, he's kind of made that judgment before. At Wimpy's Diner, I haven't been here in a very, very long time, but I checked out their breakfast menu, and they have something on there I've never seen anywhere else in all my adventures that I've been on. They have a thing on there called Fried Chicken Waffle Benedict. It's over a thousand calories, probably not including syrup. It is so amusing how Ken essentially rounded down say that it was over a thousand calories when it was 1090 calories not including any sort of extras so he would have been better off to say basically 1100 calories like those hundred calories make a difference ken doesn't seem to understand as we've reported before the whole concept of calories in calories out as far as weight loss and weight gain is concerned we are back in the car ladies and gentlemen off comes the mask let's put that down for a second i got something to tell you Let's do our little hand wash first. Are you ready? Cue the music. Once again, Ken, you never cease to amaze. What makes you think that you sanitizing your hands in a sexual manner 
mockingly makes it okay. Nearly 2 million people have died as a result of this virus. And more are going to continue to die because of this virus. But Ken Domic thinks that it's okay to pull a stunt like that over and over and over again because he finds it amusing. You are disgraceful, Ken. You don't belong on this platform, Ken. Why don't you show a montage of each time you've done that during this pandemic, Ken, to the frontline workers that you seem to praise and say are such wonderful people and see what they have to say on the matter. If you could find one person in that capacity that tells you what you did there was okay, I would be shocked. All clean. Ken, tell me how you can actually live with yourself doing a stunt like that. How can your family think that that is okay? To condone such behavior from you? It just baffles me how nonchalantly you go about doing something as heinous, deplorable, disgraceful, disgusting as sexualizing something that during a pandemic is vital to keep people safe. Now let's get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? Okay, I got something to tell you. As I'm setting up, I'll try to explain it to you. Uh, I got my placemat. It's breakfast, so we're gonna go, and a napkin, I got my own knife and fork. I even got my own plate, and I'll tell you why. I've shot this whole video already. And then I get home and find out that the camera was set to a different setting where it records minute segments for five minutes. And if you don't hit stop and start again, it goes back and re-records over that five minutes. So I got the beginning and I got the end of the video and all the middle stuff gone. I guess only an idiot like Ken Domic would not check his equipment to make sure that it's all set up correctly before he started filming. For someone that supposedly has been doing this for, what, 20, 25 years or more, and to make such a simple rookie mistake like that, yeah, kudos to you, Ken. So I'm like sitting at home wondering what to do. So I drove all the way back down to Bradford because I need to get a video out to you guys. I've already pimped it out on my social media and uh, I'm dedicated to you guys. No, Ken, you're not dedicated to your audience. You just rely on them to watch your shitty content so that you can make money. That's the only reason why you do YouTube. You are not a foodie in the slightest. So don't even try and kid yourself there. You have not learned a damn thing since you started this channel. You have proven that time and time again. All you care about is the views because that means Cha-ching in your pocket. To say otherwise, you'd just be lying. And I screwed up and uh, yeah, nobody to blame except myself when I was putting the camera on the windshield. Uh, as I'm twisting it onto the uh, suction cup, I must have pressed the button, it switched it to a different setting and all the footage is gone. So we're gonna eat it all again. So this is over 2000 calories and over $42 worth of um, 
food video for you guys. <laughs> but I, I, I know what to expect now. Uh, I already know now, now that I've gone in there again and bought the exact same thing twice today. She does make her own hollandaise sauce, which is amazing. She has real maple syrup. And what I also learned doing it already is that it's best if we probably put it on a plate as soon as possible because uh, this uh, wax paper, it actually starts to fall apart really easily. And uh, I'm gonna try my best to get this waffle out of this container without, there we go. That's the way I should have done it the first time. And I should have also recorded it properly the first time. All right, guys, I'm gonna take these lids off. I'm gonna move everything over a little bit. We'll take another picture and then we'll probably have to share that on social media again as well. Oh boy, this is crazy. Jeez. Getting a root canal was less painful than having to try and tolerate Ken Domic going on and 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 on. Like a broken record about how he had to film this video twice. He didn't have to. But he did because he wants that YouTube money because that's all he cares about. Doesn't give a shit about the fact that he just consumed a day's worth of calories to, to do this. Yeah. Good luck in losing weight, Ken. Because at this rate, it's not going to happen for you. I'm, I'm full from the first time doing this, but I need a video and I need you guys to have something to watch tonight on this Monday night. I'm going to be up late trying to edit all this stuff for you guys. Again, Ken isn't doing this for anybody other than himself. He could have easily just done a video with the beginning and the end and said, well, there was a camera malfunction. I don't have the middle, which would actually probably have been better because the worst part of a Ken Domic video, besides the fact that it stars Ken Domic, is the eating aspects because he eats. I, I was going to say he eats like a pig, but again, I constantly have said that is being mean to pigs because... They're an animal, and they don't have the same ability to eat like a human can. Like, Ken just tries to make it look like he really gives a shit about his viewers. He doesn't. He absolutely doesn't. And it's good to the last drop, people. Yep. That's totally what someone that's trying to lose weight would do, Ken. Mmm. Buttery goodness. And because I've already done the review, uh, my second time around, I already know that putting the syrup on it tastes way better because waffles just have to have syrup on it. No matter how you decorate this stuff, or whatever you add to it, you have to have the syrup on it. So let's do that too. There's our syrup going on to the eggs, Benny. Trust me, it works. Second time doing it. And I already know what works and what doesn't. You know, even toddlers know that being repetitive gets annoying. I've never seen anybody like Ken Domic who gets fixated on mentioning the same damn thing a hundred different times throughout a video. Never seen that. Like Ken, all he had to do was say it once at the beginning of the video and he could have just shut up about it for the rest of the video. Oh my goodness. Does that not look like a disgusting mess of wonder? Why, yes it does. Gotta wipe the fingers again. Everything's sticky.
Ouh là là So the first time I had that, she kind of overcooked the eggs a little bit. So they were a little bit runny, like 50% runny, but I like them really runny. So let's see if she made them runnier this time. All right, guys, going in for the first joke, seeing if that's runnier. Is it runny? Is it runny? It is not, she, uh, just a little bit overcooked, that's all. Just a little bit overcooked on that one. This one is, where is it? There it is, okay, come on. We need more runniness, a little bit overcooked. That's like a medium poached egg. I prefer very runny. So she does three eggs. And uh, yeah, I take them off the, the stove just a little bit earlier because you want it to be runny, just like the syrup all over. Let me know if you like runny eggs, because I do, especially on an Eggs Benedict. Hey, Mr. Foodie Domic. Uh, considering that you claim to be such a foodie, why is it that you don't seem to know what a runny egg is? You, you you said that those were medium eggs, so how would you order something that is above medium? Yeah, easy. That's the answer, Ken, easy, not runny. Anyone that goes in and, and says, yes, I'd like uh, three poached eggs. How would you like them, sir? Uh, runny. Yeah, no one orders an egg like that. How would you like your eggs, sir? Easy, please. All right, second time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ken Domic, you're so fucking funny. <laughs> no, you're not. You've said that same thing. A dozen times already. Enough. First time was good. Second time's a charm. Oh boy. Talk about how many bike rides I'm going to have to do to offset all this food. Ken, you don't even do enough bike rides to offset any of the food that you eat. That's why you're gaining weight again, yeah, lard ass. Yeah, I said it. Lard ass. Not defamatory, because guess what? You've already said you're gaining weight, numb nuts. I already told you that I call it as I see it. All right, so what we've done here is I've got a little bit of egg. Here we go, come on. I want a bit of this egg. It's like yolk on yolk. It's more like yolk on yolk going into a freaking joke. Ken, you are that freaking joke. We got egg. We've got the waffle. We've got the southern fried chicken. So, Ken, any particular reason why you have to put on a southern black accent when you say... Southern fried chicken? Like, what are you going to do next? Yell out that you want some watermelon and some grape soda to go with your southern fried chicken? I mean, you've seen you do the same thing with your Indian or Pakistani um, accent when you're trying to be a moron. We've seen you do it with an Italian accent. Uh, we've seen you do the whole um, Asian one with the whole rook and, uh, you know, it, 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 chicken fried guys. You know, all Asians rook a right. Yeah, that, like that's the kind of humor that Ken loves. He thinks that it's appropriate to mock people based on their, um, you know, their ethnic accents. We've got syrup, we've got a hollandaise sauce, going in for the big bite. 
Oh, yay. We get to see Ken's O face. Just what everyone loves to see in his videos. When he literally takes a, the first bite of something. And then acts like he's jizzing in his pants. I mean, he starts shaking his head around. Rolling it around on his shoulders. Looking at the camera. And opening his eyes as wide as he can. To exaggerate what he's experiencing. Like, Ken, you're so full of shit. It's really, really good. The first thing you get is that sweet syrup. Next powerful taste is that southern fried chicken. All the spices she uses on that breading are really, really good. Uh, I'm not sure um, what seasonings she uses on that southern fried chicken, but it is a really, really good savory um, fried chicken recipe that she has. Of course, Ken would say savory because that's the only word besides phenomenal that Ken can come up with every time. Everything that he puts in his mouth is savory. I don't know what spices are in there, but it's so savory. Like, Ken, you aren't a foodie. Uh, and the, the waffle, just a great tasting Belgian waffle. And I love waffles. And you throw a slice of chicken on there. It's phenomenal. Phenomenally phenomenal, people! Oh my god! It's not even my birthday! As Ken would say. I didn't even know that he was gonna say phenomenal after the, the savory bit. Because as I've said, I don't watch his content before I begin to react to it. The first time it gets watched is when I start to edit a video because I feel that it makes for a better reaction. But eating it twice <laughs> in one day, that's just craziness. She's like, you were in here before, weren't you? I'm like, yep, sorry about that. She's, I'm like, at least you made double the profits today from me. All right, check that out, guys. Dripping with goodness. Oh, yeah, look at that. Three perfect layers. Mm. I believe they do all-day breakfast there. They've been there for, I'd say, 10 to 15 years. I should have asked her that. That would been a great question to ask her. Probably, Ken. But we all know that you suck with a capital S-U-C-K at interviewing people. Like going back to that video where you were interviewing Randy Santel. Oh my god, that was so painful to watch. I actually felt so embarrassed for you. And that's crazy considering... I don't really give much of a damn about you because you don't give much of a damn about anyone else but yourself. But I don't want them to close. I and mean, if you live anywhere near a Wimpy's and, and you've had Wimpy's before, you probably don't want them to close either. So again, if you can find the time, if you have the money, order before you go. She'll have it ready by the time you get there and pick it up. Go home. Mow down or eat it in the car. Get yourself a steering wheel tray and enjoy this just like I am. Yeah, Ken. You really give a shit about the restaurants. If you give such a shit, of, you know, um, about the well-being of that restaurant, why don't you go in and give her 20 bucks? You can afford it. Just go in there and give her 20 bucks and say, I don't want to see you close. But you're not going to do it. Because the only people that you give money to 
are yourself or to Paul when you gave him what five to seven hundred dollars we still don't know how much exactly um, all under the false pretense of a charitable act almost missed my whole mouth that would be surprising considering the way that you eat by sticking out your tongue and bringing the food to that first I don't know, still the weirdest way that I've ever seen someone eat. I've never seen anybody that eats the same way that you do, Ken. It's the most disturbing and disgusting sight. It's almost impossible to do. All right, going in again. Oh, yeah. Very, very messy meal. But it tastes great, man. Just all the complexities of this meal just works. What complexities, Ken? It is a premix waffle batter to make the waffle. It's three eggs that have just been put into water to be cooked. It's butter and and uh, egg yolks that have been mixed together to make a sauce and then maple syrup oh and then the savory chicken patty which is most likely a frozen chicken cutlet that's been processed heavily i doubt very much that she makes it herself could be wrong but it's most likely something that's already prepared because that tends to be how these chain restaurants go. And again, if you don't put syrup on it, I think uh, I don't think you'd enjoy it as much. Because the sweet in the chicken works, the sweet and, and your waffles works, of course. The syrup and the eggs, maybe not so much. But every once in a while, in the past, when I've ever had eggs and pancakes, the syrup always managed to get on the eggs, and you would just eat it anyway, and it still tasted fine. Whoa! Woohoo! Chicken's still very hot. Woo! Sure, sure it was, Ken. Sure it was. You would never tell a lie, now would you? Nope, not Ken Domic. He's the most transparent and truthful and honest person out there. You can't help but trust him. Yeah, right. Oh, this one's all waffle. I don't mind these uh, medium thick waffles. I'm not, I'm not too keen on those really thick Belgian waffles. This is like a good size. Good thickness. Ooh la la. Are an idiot. Oh, 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 You are an idiot. Oh, 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 Look at that perfectly juicy fresh chicken. It's still steaming. It's that hot. Oh, and then the egg fell off. Perfectly cooked golden brown waffle. Here's a real challenge for you, Ken. Don't use any of your go-to words or phrases for a month in your videos. That means no tangy or savory, or phenomenal, or amazing, or beautiful, or wow, or uh, golden brown, or perfect, <laughs> pardon me, perfectly cooked. You want to know what? You'll never be able to survive doing that because you don't have a big enough vocabulary 
to compensate for the loss of those words. Actually, that might make your videos better because when you say nothing at all, there's nothing for people to really react to besides when you do something that's kind of gross and disgusting, which you do quite a bit of. All right, guys, first time through, I gave it a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite. So this time through, I'm going to have to give it another one o'clock in the morning shout out bite to all you awesome uh, men and women out there who love to watch. We have a confirmed projectile sighting. my videos at one o'clock in the morning we don't know why you do but you do this bite is for you cheers well ken cheers is not for eating cheers is for consuming a beverage or for a greeting not for fucking eating food or putting such a massive bite in your gullet like you just did. Pig! I'm saving this big chunk of waffle over there for my last bite. So I've eaten two waffles, two chicken breasts, six eggs, two tubs of hollandaise sauce, two tubs of syrup, a lot of food. Yep, it is, Ken. But I guess if anybody wants to start looking as svelte as you, they should go on the Ken Domic diet. After just a few short months, you too can look like this if you want a nice big gut like ken Domic, all you gotta do is drink copious amounts of beer sit on your ass all day and just eat 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 and you too can have such a nice beautiful Beer belly gut. Maybe even get asked when you're due. Because Ken kind of looks like he's pregnant there. Knowing Ken, he'll say, yeah, he's pregnant with a baby elephant. Want to see its trunk? Ooh la la! Because I'm Ken Domic and I'm such a giant moron. It tastes amazing. It does. It really does. Last bite. Quick clean up. All done. Piggy all done. Piggy all done. Piggy all done. Piggy all done. <laughs> Why Ken has to sit there, put his hands up like that, as if it's some major accomplishment that he finished a plate of food, baffles me. I mean, we all saw a few videos back where he was giving himself a little, you know, a little applause because he finished his meal. Like, Ken seems to need praise for doing something as simple as eating. I don't know. Maybe he wasn't loved enough as a child. As you can see this time around, I get the clean plate award. I got almost a clean plate award last time, but I ate it in the container and it was hard to scrape up all the little bits and pieces without the uh, wax paper all breaking up. So this time, because I'm on a plate, I get the clean plate award. Wow. Today, instead of clapping for himself, 
he gave himself a freaking award. Oh my god. Ken, are you 54 or are you 4 turning 5? Because I've never seen a grown ass man want an award for clearing their friggin' plate. You are unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, there you go, guys. That was the fried chicken waffle Benedict. If you have a Wimpy's anywhere close to you, please drop what you're doing, give them a call, go pick it up, bring it home, and you'll enjoy this as much as I did. Ken, you need to learn how to speak. You should not be saying, you'll enjoy this as much as I did. What you should be saying is, and you, sh you may enjoy this as much as I did. The way you said it is an expectation that everybody is going to enjoy it. I'm sure the people that are allergic to eggs would not enjoy it. I'm sure the people that don't like chicken would not enjoy it. I'm sure the people that can't have sugar would not enjoy it. I'm sure the people that are on a low carb diet would not enjoy it. Like, Ken, do better, be better, speak better. Don't be an idiot. I know that's going to be hard for you to do. But try. Like, seriously, try, Ken. Really, 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 really hard. All right, guys. Thanks for your support and your understanding, especially when I screw up uh, with the camera and I have to redo the whole thing again. I hope you guys give me some leeway on that. Here's a little thought, Ken. You do realize that no one would have known that you had to do it a second time if you wouldn't have told people that you had to do it a second time. But you can't help but tell people when you have to do things a second time because you seem to get off on letting everyone know about your idiotic mistakes. It's like a flaw in your character. I really appreciate all your, uh, your love and support on this channel. That's because that's the only thing that you seem to allow onto your channel, Ken. You don't allow anyone that would give constructive criticism or would question anything that you do. Nope. The second someone doesn't kiss your ass, you ban them. Like, that is how Ken Domic rules, because he has a character flaw that does not allow him to take constructive criticism at all. He takes everything as a personal affront. That just shows how much of a little man Ken Domic is. And for all the content I'm creating for you guys. So if you want to show your support even more for me, hit this video with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out that awesome playlist down over there. And I'll see you over there. I'm not going to give a full uh, conclusion here. Because I'm going to continue this on and include uh, some bonus footage for the, the accompanying vlog that Ken put up. Because... I figure might as well just do it in one video because the amount of belly aching Ken does about I had to do this two times cause I screwed up the first time cause I don't know how to check my equipment before I start filming to make sure that it's all set right cause I'm Ken Domic and it's not like I've been doing this for most of my adult life. But yeah. Just another video. Of Ken. Showing how much of a. Pig he is. Eating. Tw you know. Over 2200 calories. Which is. A day's worth of calories for Ken. Bring your hunger. Hey guys it's Monday morning. And I just finished doing the, the Wimpy's video. 
actually, I did that uh, other part of the, the vlog. And after that, I was like trying to figure out where I'm going to eat next. And it happened to be Wimpy's. I was going to go to a barbecue place, but they're closed until, uh, I'm not sure when they're going to, I guess they open, I mean, they open like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or something like that. But, uh, yeah, that was good. I really enjoyed that. So I brought my own knife and fork, which was a good idea. Uh, I'm going to have to put all this stuff away. Try not to put these down on my placemat at the moment. I'm going to probably put them in the bag, make sure I don't throw the bag away. It's kind of one of my things is to uh, just dump everything in the bag. When I get home, I take it all apart and make sure it's not going to I'm not going to throw anything out, throw away our cutlery or anything. But uh, yeah, that's how that's how we're shooting this one today. I was parked over there, but there was a truck pointed right at me with three guys in it, and I didn't want to entertain them. Wait, you actually entertain people, Ken? I mean, besides your ass-kissing fans, who could be entertained by literally anybody that they can, you know, latch themselves to. They're sort of like parasites. Like, that's what I'm sort of gonna liken them to. They're, they're parasitic in the sense that without Ken Domic in their life, they have absolutely no meaning, it seems. I mean, I hate to think what James Baxter or Lisa Priestman or who knows who else should be named here would do without Ken. It's like they're part of a cult. Attention, everyone. Let's all give thanks to the leader for this glorious day. The, the leader, leader is good. The, the leader, leader is great. We surrender our will as of the state. The leader is good. The leader is great. We surrender our will as of the state. It's no use. He's obviously the most powerful mind we've ever dealt with. Or, na 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 leader. Na 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 leader. Na 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 leader. Na 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 leader. I love the leader. It's just kind of, it's kind of um, bothersome when somebody's like sitting really close to you and you're like, you're, you're conscious of it and it doesn't make for a very good video. So I like to be kind of hidden away from other people. It just makes me feel more relaxed and, and I'm not being watched or anything. Hmm. Kind of a pity that Ken doesn't realize that what he just described is actually part of an eating disorder. Ken just admitted that he doesn't like to be watched when he eats like that. So that's kind of a surprising thing to me, although he has no problem putting up his videos on YouTube showing how boorish he is while eating so it's kind of a counter intuitive situation um whether they know me or not it's just kind of a weird thing let's start that engine my my bum my bum heater is still warm which is great why do you think it is that ken can't be like any other human being and has to refer to a seat warmer as a bum heater. Like, why, Ken? Why do you have to say it in such an infantile, juvenile, adolescent type of way? Why can't you act your age for a change? It stayed warm the whole time we were doing this video. Also about a quarter of the way into uh, creating that video, uh, that truck, that grease truck pulled up and I guess is uh, taking away their, their used grease um, from the fryers and stuff. But, uh, and he had like a motor or something. I'm hoping that doesn't interfere with the video at all. You know, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do and, and if the, life is life and if there's 
life noises happening in the background. That's life noises. Just like when I was downtown Toronto and the guy's jackhammering. That was hilarious. Oh, Ken, did you really find it hilarious when that was happening? I don't seem to recall you finding it hilarious. I seem to recall that you found it annoying. Similar to when you were in Toronto and you got yourself drunk the night before and was woken up by construction workers and then you made that colorful remark about them. But here, let, let's do a little flashback to that Rudy's video where the jackhammer came into play and let's just see what your reaction was. Flashback. Unbelievable. I didn't notice the guys were setting up with a jackhammer just over there. That is crazy. Worst spot ever to do a video. Such bad, such bad timing. It is a good burger. Mmm, the sauce they use is really good. It's got a bit of a mustard flavor to it. And try to find a better location next time. End of flashback. Well, one could say that you were laughing or smirking, but that wasn't you thinking it was funny. That was the passive aggressive Kendomic smirk. You know, the one that you give when you're annoyed by something, but you don't want to show that it's pissing you off. That is the look that you give. I think I added to the video a lot of comments about that. That was the funniest part of the video. For sure it was. That was great. Uh See? Passive aggressive Ken. He just proved my point. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, if you've ever been to uh, a Wimpy's, I think there used to be one. The first one I ever went to was in uh, Aurora, Ontario. And then they built one up here in Bradford. And I think there's one in Barrie. I'm not sure where else Wimpy's are and how many there are. There goes the grease truck. Because I'm such a nice guy to you, Ken. I did the simple little research that was, you know, very easy to Google. There's approximately 58 Wimpy's locations in Southern Ontario. That's where they are franchised in Southern Ontario. Oh, and you were questioning about there being a Barry location? According to their website, there's actually three. I'm not sure what they do with uh, old oil, if they can refurbish it or whatever, use it for something else. I'm not sure how they get rid of it. I hope they do something that helps the environment somehow. Well, firstly, Ken, used cooking oil cannot be refurbished to be reused as cooking oil again. That would be gross. And secondly, it is recycled. It gets turned into something called biodiesel. Just another thing that Ken Domic has no idea about because you really aren't very knowledgeable. It doesn't seem like you seek out to learn. The whole vlog, people. <laughs> it is now 3.30. So when I got home with this camera, I discovered very quickly, as I uploaded the footage to my computer so I could start compressing, that there was more clips. Uh, there should have only been like one clip for the beginning of the video 
and then another really long clip for the whole duration of me getting in the car, setting it up, eating it all and done. There should only have been two clips, but there was a bunch of clips. So, and I couldn't figure out why. And uh, so what happened was uh, on this camera, there's two buttons on the side. When I put the camera on the windshield, I must have pressed one of the buttons and it switched it to a different setting where it records for five minutes in one minute segments, increments. And then at the end of the five minutes, if you don't stop and start again, it goes back and re-records over that five minutes. And it just keeps doing that. So because I shot the beginning of my video, it got that part and I shut the camera off, went inside, got my food, came back, turned the camera on. From there on, it's all gone. And it got the last, because it keeps recording, five minutes, five minutes, it got the beginning and it got the end and all the middle stuff was gone. So I sat there staring at my computer and Carol's like, what are you gonna do? And I'm like, well, I need to get this video done for you guys and- Correction. He needed to get this video done for him so that he could make money because it's all about that money, 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 dollar, dollar bills, yo, for Ken Domic. And I wanted to have it up today. I've already pimped it out on all my social media. Seriously, Ken, you gotta stop using the word pimp. You know, saying that you pimped it out or whatever uh it's 2021 no one talks like that anymore like you just sound like an old fuddy-duddy trying to be cool and relevant when you just come off as dull and dim-witted people are waiting for it and she goes, what are you going to do? Are you going to do it again? And I'm like, I don't really want to do it again. That's a lot of food. Um, it's over a thousand calories just for that one plate of food. And I'm going to do it again. And the bill was like $21. Like it's $18. Plus I gave them 20% tip. So after taxes and tip and everything, it's $21.68 twice. So it was like $40, $42, $43 and change. Ah, poor Ken Domic. We all know how cheap a, a bastard he can be. I mean, I I know I used a clip of his Rudy cheeseburger and you know fries and chocolate milkshake uh, to show the jackhammer bit, but during that he was complaining about it was the most expensive cheeseburger he's ever bought and it was not worth the six dollars that it cost him for the amount of food that he got because as i said in that video way back ken Domic compares everything to fast food like a freshly made item like that cheeseburger is gonna cost more because the ingredients cost more because it's not a frozen, heavily processed burger from a fast food joint, Ken. That's why the fast food restaurants are able to sell food so cheaply and make a profit because it is shitty quality food. You get less meat than what you got in that burger on a Big Mac, but because of all the bun, it looks like more food to you, so your head thinks, yeah, that's a much better deal, even though regular price for one of those these days is like $7, I think? Like a quarter pound, a quarter pounder with cheese at McDonald's is 7 bucks. A combo is like $11 nowadays. It's not really cheap anymore. But Ken just doesn't comprehend that better quality food is going to cost more. Because he's a penny, a, a, a penny pinching miser. For this video, so I hope you guys watch the video a couple times. Help me out there. 
Watch it ten times, everybody. I need to make back all the money that I spent on all this food just for you and just for you. Even though I did it just for me. Because I'm Ken Domic and I can't do anything else in life besides sit in my car and eat like a fat pig and put it on YouTube for the world to see. Yeah. That, that, that's Ken's life. That's what he's really thinking. That's what he really means when he says that. As I said, every time that he says that he's doing these videos for, for his audience, this is what he wants. He wants you to watch it and to share it. And the more views he gets, the more money he gets to put in his pocket. What do you think when he finally got the balls to say something to me because prior to that he has not said a word to me he's struck my channel five times but not once has he said anything to me he hasn't responded to any of the emails he didn't respond to the email from the law office that was sent to him with a cease and desist letter but he came into my video uh, premiere the other, the other night on his gaming, uh, TV channel and was harping on about how I'm not monetized. What does Ken care if my channel is monetized or not? I've already said that I don't care about the monetization aspect. But Ken only cares about that aspect. So it shows you that money is all he thinks about. Uh, share it a lot with a lot of people who love waffles, chicken, hollandaise sauce, eggs. What if they like food? Just share this video out. Because uh, that was an expensive one. It wasn't supposed to be an expensive one. But it was. And uh, the lady at this uh, location is super nice. And uh, she's like, you're in here already. Where are you? <laughs> I'm like, yes. I seriously doubt that Ken tipped the lady that runs the Wimpies both times. Doubtful. And that uh, because, as I said before, Ken was harping on in the food video. You got to save these restaurants. So, like, if you got one nearby, go out and, and order from them. But as I said, Ken should go in and just give her $20. Just be nice. He can afford to do it. He, he can, you know, he seems to be well off in, in his mind. Granted, what he makes is never enough, but that's not how Ken operates. That doesn't benefit him in any way. But I gotta do it again. Oh, man. Uh, and the bottom of this is uh, sticky. Ooh la la. See how repetitive he is? In the food video, he said that he was all sticky and did the ooh la la. And here he said the container, the bottom of it was sticky and he did the ooh la la again. Because Ken is a hack. To say otherwise, Ken would do a disservice because you are the epitome of a hack. All right, guys, let's get home, start editing, because I'm hoping it's an easy edit, but it's uh, 20 to four right now. So it'll probably take me two to three hours, maybe, hopefully less, to edit all this stuff, get it out to you guys. So you guys have something to watch tonight and tomorrow. Because Ken Dominic thinks that everyone is just dying to see a new video from Ken. Yep, and that's how full of himself he is. But yes, this was like a really pointless video. Ken ate two 1100 plus calorie meals in a three hour period. Who knows what else he would have eaten that day. 
This is why Ken Dama continues to gain weight and doesn't lose weight because he just doesn't have any willpower. But at any rate, not much more to say. This has been another Ken Domic Dissemination Expose. But until next time, KDDE out. And don't forget to share.